Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Christine. I'm glad you're here. Let's get right into the video. It is time for top fails number five, where I react to posts and reels and lives to people who are in multi-level marketing companies. I react to them. I comment on them. I debunk the lies and I add my two senses. So let's get started. The first post is from a Beachbody lady who is in Beachbody UK. Good morning. How are you all doing? Welcome to Friday. Yeah, yeah, Friday. <laughs> We've made it. <laughs> um, so I have got one question for you this morning, and that is, what are you waiting for? OK, can you answer me that? I would love to know in the comments below what are you waiting for? Why have you not started yet? So many of you like my posts, you comment, you support me, you watch my stories. You are my biggest cheerleaders. But do you want to carry on just being a cheerleader or do you want to get stuck in and get involved? What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for like the planets to align? Are you waiting for life to become less hectic? Are you waiting for someone like to, a doctor to tell you you're on the verge of being diabetic, you need to do something about your weight? Are you waiting for a health scare to actually go, wow, that hit home, I need to do something now? I guarantee most people who sit on the fence, who procrastinate, who don't know whether they want to get started or not, one of the biggest excuses that they always come up with is, I'm just waiting for like, life to get a little bit less stressful. It's just too busy. I've got too much on. There's always something on with the kids. There's work. There's school clubs. There's events. There's always something on. Well, let me tell you something. That's not going to change. That is called life. It's busy. It's really busy. I am busy. I've got one daughter going off to secondary school. I've got one going back to primary school. I've got my part-time job. I've got this online business. I've got my own health and wellness journey. I've got clients to support. But you know what? I'm a classic case of give a busy person something extra to do and she'll find time to do it. Your health and your fitness and your wellness should be a priority. You should be making time for yourself so that you are a functional human. We have become such a lazy population. If you think of anything these days, and I was talking about this in my free week this week, earlier in the week, that I don't think that she is wrong with a lot of things she says. We like to be comfortable and somehow we need a push to change things in our life, to live a healthy lifestyle or to move our bodies. She's not wrong with that. But as usual, I find what she says difficult when it comes to the MLM context. Let's not forget that this lady is in Beachbody. And it seems to me that she's sort of keeping track of the people that follow her, her followers, her family and friends that support her on her social media. That doesn't mean that these people have to support you in Beachbody. People can follow you on Instagram because they like the aesthetic, because they like the visual. And it seems that she's doing a lot of sports and she's posting a lot about the workouts, but that doesn't mean that people have to join Beachbody or as it is known soon, body, because of Beachbody is rebranding into body over the course of this year, that doesn't mean that they have to join you. Family and friends can be your family and friends, and they, once again, also don't have to join you. Now, I don't disagree with her when she says, well, what do you have to wait for? Do you have to wait for a doctor to tell you you're on the verge of being a diabetic? There's a little bit of a health scare involved in there as well, but I don't fully disagree with her. You can live a quote unquote healthier lifestyle, whatever that means. You can cook your food differently. Maybe don't order out all the time. Maybe focus on eating more nutrient dense foods and plan to move your body regularly every day at least five or 10 minutes, just go for a walk. And if you sit at a desk most of the time of your day, remember to stretch and maybe go out for a walk on your lunch break as well. That is something you can do on your own terms. You don't have to join an MLM to live a healthy lifestyle. Everything we do these days is done for convenience. You sit down on the sofa, all you need to do is if you've got a fire stick, you need to talk to the remote to say, find whatever program and bang, it pops up. If you want to order a pizza, you literally open up your phone, it's on an app. Just a couple of examples, but there is so much in life now that is so 
convenient. It has forced us to become lazy and we have forgotten how to move our bodies as well in a functional way. Um, so many of us have health issues or joint problems or mobility problems. If you look at youngsters, babies, toddlers, they can squat straight down into a deep squat, keeping their heels on the floor, bum down, because they've got the flexibility, they've got the mobility there. And naturally, as we age, that becomes less and less, it becomes more and more limited. But you can do something to change that. You can move your body for a little bit each day to lose weight, to tone up, to become more mobile, to become more functional, and to become just a generally happier person in how you feel. So yeah, you know what? Life is not going to calm down. It's not going to slow down. You're still going to have the school running. You're still going to have the clubs and you're still going to have all the housework and the cooking and the chores and work and stuff like that to do. But you need to be able to value yourself enough to be able to fit in 20 to 30 minutes of moving your body and some healthy nutrition each day. When you are ready, you let me know and I'll be here to help you every step of the way. Of course, she's here to help us along the way because when you sign up with her on Beachbody because you want to use one of the programs or if you sign up as a coach or if you order nutritional stuff from their website, she gets a commission. But once again, you don't have to join an MLM to live a healthier lifestyle to move your body regularly. I don't disagree with her that people do become lazy sometimes. In this day and age, technology is so advanced that we don't have to do much ourselves anymore. And that is why in our everyday life, especially if you work from a desk most of the time during the day, we don't move our bodies that often. Yes, I agree with that. But once again, you don't have to join a freaking MLM, beach body included, to get a fit and healthy lifestyle. There are free resources out there if you want to learn how to move your body. You can just search YouTube and there are actual fitness professionals there who have programs for you where you can have low impact movement or you can learn how to stretch your body. If you're not comfortable going to the gym yourself, you can also learn certain steps there from actual professionals. There is so much out there that you can use for free. You don't have to join an MLM to do so. And also nutrition wise, what she's pretty much shilling on Beachbody is overpriced nutritional items. I mean, I don't know if you've ever taken a look at Beachbody's website, but it is ridiculous. And it is very likely that you don't need any of these things. Let's say you want a protein powder. You can get a big pack of whatever flavor you want and whatever style you want for already $20 or 20 euros. But when you go to Beachbody's website, actually, let's do that. Their bestseller is Shakeology, which is pretty much just an overhyped protein powder. They will claim it is so much more because it has all of the vitamins and nutrients. It's an overpriced and overhyped protein powder. And you can purchase that for a very, very affordable $129.95. Yeah, that is ridiculous. That is why I would say it is good and it is great if you want to make changes in your life, if you want to live a more active lifestyle. But the only thing that will be active when you are in Beachbody, in my opinion, is the money flowing out of your wallet, flowing out of your bank account, into Beachbody and into the rep that is looking after you. So if you want to live an active lifestyle, you don't need any supplements. But if you choose that you want to, you don't have to join an MLM to do so. You can get those for a lot cheaper, same quality online. So please don't get fooled by Beachbody or somebody who's trying to sell you Beachbody. The next post is from iGenius from uh, Dramus. If you follow anti-MLM content, you will know this individual very well. And uh, this post actually made me think that I was losing my eyesight or something was wrong with it. It's not, it's supposed to be this blurry. I was very confused by that. Uh, it either makes me feel very old or I don't know much about Instagram and social media trends. But anyway, that is what she posted. Repeat after me, money comes to me easily. Success comes to me easily. I am a money magnet. Money follows me everywhere I go. I always have more money than I need. I get money just for breathing. The more I relax, the more I receive. As soon as money leaves me, more money is already on its way. Comment to affirm. That's a bunch of bullcrap. What the frick? <laughs> I'm sorry, huh? 
This individual is in a financial literacy MLM, a genius. And the way you make money is by affirmation and positive thinking. Yeah, that's already a red flag for me and is highly unprofessional. What I think she's trying to say is, hey, manifestations, affirmations, positive thoughts and positive things will come. And I don't disagree with the general concept of if you regard your life and what happens in your life as positive, you will focus on more positive things in your life. But that doesn't mean that you will get money. You can be the most positive person on planet Earth and you will not make money just by being positive. That is awkward. I'm a money magnet. Money comes to me easy. Everything comes to me easy. Yeah, I don't think so. We have seen that WFAB is actually struggling. WFAB switched over to iGenius over a year ago and a lot of the people already left again. Also, some of the top leaders, the two Daniela's, they also left. One of them apparently left the MLM business in general, and the other went to another MLM. So it doesn't look and it doesn't sound to me that iGenius or WFAB has the secret code to affirmations that will lead to you making a lot of money. You will not be able to receive a lot of money just for breathing, and you don't will have more money than you need just because you have positive thoughts. This is a bunch of affirmation boo-boo and Things will not come easily to you just because you're positive. It's a no for me. The next fail is from doTERRA and it is from doTERRA's Instagram page where if you have seen, I think it was MLM fails number one, I will link it up here and also down below. We have seen something similar before from Young Living and I don't get it. This is a spaghetti sauce recipe and no, you might be thinking, well, what's wrong with that? Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with spaghetti sauce. I like spaghettis, I like the sauce, I like cheese, I'm all here for it. But just like the Young Living post, let's go through the ingredients because there's something off. The ingredients are one can of tomatoes crushed, one can of tomato sauce, half a cup of onion chopped, one teaspoon of garlic minced, two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one drop of oregano essential oil. And then there's actually an instruction how to do a spaghetti sauce. I mean, I'm sorry, it's not that hard. Let's focus on the ingredients again. Why is there essential oils on your ingredient list for a spaghetti sauce? Why do you have to add oregano essential oil, which is very likely a very, very potent and overpowering oil? Why do you have to add that? to your spaghettis when you already have Italian seasoning in there. You know what you could also do? It's a secret, so don't tell anyone else. You could just add real oregano. Honestly, why is there freaking oregano essential oil in there again? It is not safe to consume essential oil. The way you can safely enjoy essential oils is in a diffuser and then you can enjoy the aromatherapy side effects that can be very positive. And I'm sure that oregano oil also smells nice if you diffuse it, but why do you have to ingest it? Oils in food are not safe, whether it is Young Living, whether it is doTERRA. But I do believe that especially the oily MLMs, the reps, and also the MLMs themselves, they have so many oils on stock at home that they need to come up with new ideas how to use them in a creative way. If you were to shill these products, or if you wanted to be enticing to the reps in your company, you probably wouldn't want to have a post every week that says, let's diffuse this oil, let's diffuse that oil. No, instead we're putting people's health at risk and we're adding this to food. Big yikes and big fail. The next fail is from a Saint Beauty rep who is on her Instagram and tries to recruit us into her downline. Let's see what she has to say. It's so crazy to me thinking back to like six years ago when I got started with home-based business and I really just wanted to buy a new couch <laughs> for my downstairs. And, and to look back on the last six years total in the industry, four years with Saint, um, it's just pretty amazing. We, you know, at, at one point I was a, a team of one 
right? I was just me. I got myself signed up. Uh, now we are over 17,000 people, um, Canada and United States and more countries to come. And we have been able to do some really cool stuff as a family. Um, but it's not always about like the big deal things. Sometimes it's seriously just about the little things. Like, can you think of anything little that you were just like, if I could just do that, <laughs> it would be, it would make such a big difference. Like whether it's target run money, um, just a little extra spending money, mani petty money, maybe you want to get highlights in your hair then, and you never can because it costs so much extra. Um, maybe it's just, going out to a little nicer of a date night with your husband. Like they're so, instead of like packing sandwiches, <laughs> pb and go eating it at a park or something. That's bringing me back to like our starving student days when we just did as many free dates as possible. That was actually a good time. But I'm just saying, it doesn't have to be, I retired my husband today or bought a vacation home. She started with Saint Beauty seven years ago, and now there are 17,000 people. I don't know if she means that there are now 17,000 what they are called artists on her team specifically or in Saint Beauty total. But let's repeat this. She was able to join early, seven years ago, and it's very likely that at this point she has a huge downline because she joined when the company wasn't saturated yet. She joined seven years ago when most people probably didn't know that it was an MLM, and now people are very likely aware of that. She's trying to entice people who want to make a little bit of money. If you don't want to make the big money, this is still a great opportunity for you as a side hustle, for your target run or for date night or manicure or pedicure and that sounds so doable doesn't it i find that very very deceptive because even for people who don't want to make a lot of money who don't want to substitute a full-time income with an mlm opportunity it is very very likely that they will not be able to make the little money that she is talking about I think it is smart that the reps have stopped saying you can be a millionaire in no time and you can create generational wealth and buy your Lamborghini and buy your luxury mansion home on planet Earth, whatever the pitch is. We still see and hear those, but now it is more relatable if you want to contribute to the groceries, you don't want to think twice what to buy, uh, just make a couple of hundred bucks every month in addition to your income. But that is deceptive. Let's take a look at Saint Beauty's income disclosure statement and see what great of an opportunity that actually is. I do believe this is the income disclosure statement from 2020. I couldn't find others. Apologies if you could let me know. Let's take a look at this one. It says right there it's 2020. It's the 2020 annual income USD. So from the United States. Cool. If you can read, that's quite an advantage. Artist one and artist two are the bottom ranks and a total of 89.98% of people in the company are at those two bottom ranks. That is typical in any MLM. So it seems that Saint Beauty isn't any different there. The majority of people are at the lower ranks. Now, if you're an artist one, you make an average of $69 per year, not including taxes, and stuff you have to buy from Saint Beauty. So if you have to sign up with a starter fee or you have to buy a beauty pack, you've already lost money at that rank. The second rank with 57.6% makes an average annual income of $890, once again, before taxes and before expenses. That is a monthly income of $69. I would argue that that is not enough for people to have occasionally a manicure here or there to contribute to date night, because once again, that is before expenses and before taxes. So people at those two bottom ranks will very, very likely lose a lot of money. That of course is something that people who want to entice you to join the company, buy products from them or to start the business opportunity, they will not tell you because it's not beneficial. But that is why I am here to tell you that this is not beneficial for you. Let's continue. 
So if you've ever been curious at all about the artist program, I'm gonna attach a few um, stories with a short little video that kind of answers all the FAQs. I'm gonna save it in my highlights. If you're like, I don't have time to watch this right now, you can come back and watch it later. Um, but easy stuff, really straightforward. Um, so hopefully that helps. Having a home-based business has never been easier than it is now with Saint Beauty. Over the next few minutes, I can relate to the super poofy hair, if you couldn't tell. I'm gonna share with you answers to some of our most frequently asked questions so you can get a better idea on whether or not our artist program is a good fit for you. One of the first questions that people ask is, well, how do I make money as a Saint artist? As an artist, you'll be making money in two different ways. The first one is by bringing on customers. The company pays a generous 20 to 40% sales commission to all its artists on all personal sales. The more you sell, the higher percentage commission you'll earn, and you'll never have to worry about hitting a minimum sales number in order to earn commissions on your own sales. No matter how much you sell, you'll always get paid. When your customers purchase through you, they'll buy through your website, which you'll create when you sign up. It's active and ready for business instantly. And when customers come to buy from you once, their customer account will always be tied to you for future purchases as their artist. This is no, a phenomenal not. way to create residual passive income because every time they return to the shop, you'll be the one who continues to get paid. Additionally, all of our product goes direct from the company to the consumer. That means that as a Saint artist, you'll never find yourself buying mass quantities of makeup, storing it in your garage, preparing and shipping packages and labels, or waiting in line at the post office. In fact, it's actually against the rules to keep stock. There will be no wasted commission checks on mass quantities of product here. And when you have a customer that needs to return something, that goes back direct to the company too. As a Saint artist, you'll never have to handle shipping or returns on anything. So if you join Saint Beauty, you can make money two different ways. The first one is to make money by selling products to customers. And I wonder what the second one is. Could it be recruitment? But let's see. Maybe Saint Beauty is completely different. That is typical for MLM, so that on the one side, you can make a small commission if you sell products from the company, in this case, 20 to 40%. But yet again, very deceptive. That way you create passive and residual income. No, you don't. Having passive or residual income, in my opinion, is if you put in the work first, out front, and then you don't have to put in a lot of work or no work at all. Let's say you are an actual artist and you come out with a piece of art, with a piece of music, you write a book. That will sell down the line. At some point, you will probably have to go on a PR tour, you will have to promote this on your social media or wherever, but then you will still be able to make money off of the sales of your products years and years down the line, and you don't have to put any money into this whatsoever. YouTube is a good example. If you make YouTube videos and your channel is monetized, you will be able to profit off of the views or the ads playing on your channel years down the line, and you don't have to touch those videos ever again. You being in a multi-level marketing company and continuously have to entice people to buy products from you is not passive and it is not residual. Unless you are in Saint Beauty and you have 3 million subscribers on whatever social media and no, but even then it's not residual income. You consistently have to entice people to join you. You consistently have to post, you consistently have to talk to people in person. Being in sales is not passive and it is not residual income. That is false. And then another thing that caught my attention was the company does everything for you. You don't have to buy the products and ship them and sell them to the customers. That all happens via the Saint Beauty link. That might be true, but there are a lot of MLMs who operate in that way. That doesn't mean that you will not end up with a lot of products at home because it is very likely when you are in an MLM, in this case Saint Beauty, that your upline, your upline's upline, the company, they will entice you to buy products, there will be product sales. In this case, you very likely will have to build your 
artist kit. You have to be a product of the product. If you want to promote the product, if you want to showcase them on your social media, or if you want to show them to people in person, you have to buy them. So just because you don't have to resell them to your customers, doesn't mean that front loading doesn't happen. It is very, very likely that people will push you to purchase a lot of products. And if it is just to build your artist kit, you will very, very likely spend a lot of money on artist makeup, although you don't have to sell it to other customers. And also I took a look at the website because I wanted to see what the price point is for the product. And I find it kind of hard to shill those products. I took a look at some of the most basic stuff on their website. Here, for example, at their lip potion, that is worth $20, a blush for $25, an eyeliner for $20, and a mascara for $17. They also have other products. They have foundations for 45 bucks, that kind of stuff. This sounds very, very pricey. These are prices that I believe most people are only willing to pay for makeup if they know the brand and if they know it's a reputable high-end brand. If you want to get stuff from Marc Jacobs or from Fendi Beauty or from Tom Ford or Anastasia Beverly Hills or Huda Beauty, you are within that range. But those are reputable brands that people know and they might see a certain worth in purchasing these. But this is not necessarily the case with Saint Beauty. So the product looked very overpriced to me and it is probably very difficult for people to sell those to actual customers. But let's see what the second side of the business opportunity is like. I can't imagine. No, really, I can't. It's gonna be a surprise. Now, the second way you'll, way you'll get paid is by bringing on more artists. You don't have to build an organization at Saint Beauty. If you feel you just want to enjoy the product, share it occasionally with friends, that's totally fine. But if you want to invite more people to get involved and to get started as an artist, you'll have an opportunity to mentor and guide them over time. And of course, the company is going to compensate you for that in the form of a monthly team bonus check. As an artist, you'll get paid every Friday on your personal sales and again on the 10th of every month for any bonuses you've earned. It takes about 10 minutes to enroll in our program and we have a couple kit options for you to choose from. Our kits are really just a business in a box. For artists based in both the United States and Canada, we have the basic kit. The basic kit is 199 US dollars and 279 Canadian dollars. It has between 450 and 600 dollars worth of product in it for you. And for a United States based artist, our pro kit is also available. It's 399 and you get about 850 dollars worth of product in it. It's definitely the more popular kit here in the United States because it's a great value. No matter which kit you choose and which country you're in, Every artist also gets a personal website that's professionally branded, dynamic, and beautiful. It costs our US artists $11.95 and our Canadians $14.95 a month. Along with your website, you'll have a back office you can log into and see your entire business, customer base, organization, trip, and other incentive qualifications, and more. So work your business anytime, anywhere, for however long or short you need to on any given day. We have artists from all backgrounds and walks of life, makeup gurus, and plenty of all natural girl next door types. We have moms and busy professionals, and they're doing everything from making a little extra target run money to creating part and even full-time income for themselves and their families as saint artists. No matter what you want to get out of our unique program, I promise you there's a place for you here if you feel like the time is right and you feel like it's a good fit. So circle back with the artists who invited you to check out this video to get started or to go over any remaining questions you may have. And we hope to welcome you to our sisterhood very soon. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Test, test. Did I hear that right? Welcome you to our sisterhood. It is a cult. Proof is in the pudding. Uh, you're not my sister. I have a sister. This is supposed to be a business opportunity. And ta-da! 
What is the second way you can make money? By recruitment. Let's start from the beginning. You can get a product pack $199 or the other one over $300. That is typical overpriced MLM product packs. But of course, she's going to entice you to purchase the pricier one because it has the best value and not because she makes more commission of you entering the company and paying the pricier package. Uh, we'll leave that out conveniently. And then what I also find very, very critical is always everybody can do it, whether you're an artist or a makeup guru or a stay at home mom. I find it very, very tricky. If you are an artist, just the name artist, just like Beachbody called their reps, coaches, that is very deceptive. I'm not sure if being a makeup artist is a protected job description, probably not. Otherwise they, they wouldn't be able to call themselves that. If I hear that somebody is a makeup artist or a coach, I would assume that they're professionals in their field, that they know what they're talking about and that they have received some formal education some product education. And in this case, if you're a makeup artist that you know about products, how they work, for what shape of your face or what for what eye shape, you're supposed to use what products, how to apply makeup there. You will also have to have some sort of skin training, hair training, whatever you want to call it. Because if you have dry skin or if you have oily skin or if you have sensitive skin, you need to be trained on this as well. And then color science. Yeah, that can also be very, very important. So anybody and everybody can do it. It's not a good sign. MLMs have to operate that way because they're a recruitment based business and they can only function if many, many people join and stay in the MLM as long as possible. That is why you will not just see trained professionals do this. Saint Beauty in conclusion to me doesn't sound like a great opportunity. It sounds just like any other MLM. The income disclosure statement is not very enticing. And the products you have to sell, they seem to be very, very overpriced for products that I don't even know, for product categories that you can get from other reputable brands. It doesn't sound like a good opportunity to me. I would stay away from Saint Beauty. The next fails is from Modere from Brooke, who wants to show us her morning routine. Let's take a look. The banana at the end was the only real food. Beautiful. If you've seen Top Fails number one, I will link it up here again or down below. If you've seen that, you will have seen her trying to sell her morning routine products to people as well. It seems to be like this is the only thing she's doing, trying to promote her morning routine with overpriced Modere products. And I put the products I could identify into a cart and it was over $400. It was almost $420 retail price if you wanted to copy her morning Morning routine. Yeah, that's why MLMers lose so much money. The products are so overpriced, but I don't want to focus on the value of the product this time. Her morning routine is not just pricey, but in my opinion, completely unnecessary. Baudet plays just like every other supplement MLM with a lot of buzzwords. Let's take a look at their website and Let's take a look what Modere says those products will do for you that she has showcased in her morning routine. For example, she has showcased the Tree Biotic OptiPack and Trim, and Modere claims that its support, optimal gut health and overall wellness, provide daily reinforcement for major body systems with research recommended amounts of biologically integrated vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, adaptogens, herbs, and omegas in excess OptiPack. Then you can add BioCell for skin and joints to improve joint mobility, reduce discomfort, whatever that is supposed to mean, and promote healthy cartilage and connective tissue. Add for a body transformation experience, trim features, and innovative first in the world combination of two leading technologies. 
So what is this now for? For your gut health, your overall wellness, or your joints, or for your skin? I have a feeling that MLMs cannot make that decision. They have to cover it all. And then they're also featuring the liquid biocell collagen on their page that pretty much does the same thing. I mean, what is going on here, Modair? So the liquid biocell collagen is shown to improve joint mobility, lubrication, support joint comfort, promote healthy cartilage and connective tissue. So these things are pretty much doing the same stuff. Why do you sell different products that do the same thing? I have a feeling that multi-level marketing companies have to come up with problems their reps probably don't have. Why do you have to take this if you don't have joint issues? Well, the one thing is also filled with collagen, so it will also be really, really good for your skin. But then this one is for you to focus on your joints. To me, these products are completely unnecessary. If you actually had joint issues, you should go see a doctor, a professional. If you have issues with your overall health, you should go and see your doctor, a professional. And if you have issues with gut health, uh, yeah, you should also see a medical professional and not a modir hun. Very, very likely these products will not do anything for you. Or if you believe they do, you might be up to the placebo effect because you want these products to work. You will have to purchase them anyway to showcase them on your social media so you can also wish and hope and tell yourself that they will work. Placebo effect is a real thing. And the MLMs will try to profit off of that because they will come out with products that have very, very similar functions where they claim they do similar things. But the new product coming out is even better for your joints because it's a new formula. This one is specifically for your gut health. The other is for your overall health. And if you want to lose a lot of weight, maybe take this product specifically. I find that really, really gross. I wouldn't want to purchase a single product from Modair. It sounds like a bunch of boo-woo to me. And then the last post is either from an Itworks rep or a Beachbody rep. I'm not sure. And I mean, that's not a red flag at all, right? If you want to sell products or a business opportunity, it is totally normal to hide the company you work for. But let's take a look at this first before I start to complain, which I inevitably will do because I'm a Grinch. But in this case, rightly so. That's why I love MLM fails so much because I can complain and it's reasonable. I will complain about the sun coming out now. That would be unreasonable, but I'm still doing it. But this year makes sense to me. Let's take a look. <laughs> really, let's take a look. I'm going to complain now, just a fair warning. I will play this up here also a couple of times so that you can see because it was rather short, but not less deceptive than the other posts I've reacted to so far. Like I said, I'm not sure if this individual is in Itworks or in Beachbody, and I also didn't do a huge amount of digging, but if I cannot tell what company you work for, that is a red flag for me already. She's making some income claims here. She says that you can get a multiple four-figure raise from last month, all from working on your phone. If you're an MLM, you don't get a raise because you don't get a salary. You only get paid if you sell a product or if you recruit people. So raises are not a thing. Maybe she hit another rank. Maybe she sold more product. Maybe she was able to recruit more people and benefit off of their work. But that is not a raise. That already is very deceptive. And working from your phone, ew, yikes, I've said it before, wouldn't be for me. It is too small of a screen to work from this all the time. Your, your eyes will not be grateful. And when she says that she got a multiple four-figure raise, that means four figures that she made at least $2,000 more than the month before. How likely is it though that you will be in a situation like this? And I don't even know if this is trustworthy. I don't trust people from multi-level marketing companies in any way, shape or form because they have been so deceptive and they've been caught lying so many times that I don't trust them. Unless I have proof about your paycheck, I don't necessarily believe you. How likely is it that you will be able to make $2,000 in a month, not just as a quote unquote raise. In It Works or Beachbody, the way you make money there is by recruitment. Yes, you can also sell a product here or there, but these are just typical MLMs. And in my opinion, you make most money 
if you are able to recruit a lot of people and their income disclosure statements show that as well. And then she finishes off with helping your team to do the same. That is the essential part in any multi-level marketing company. You can try to sell as many products as you want to, but you will not make a lot of money. You could be the best salesperson in the world, but MLM products are really, really difficult to sell. And if you were actually a good salesperson, I would argue you'd probably be in a regular sales job, in a regular commission-based sales job where your income truly does depend on the sales. What she's saying here is recruitment. You have to recruit people and you have to show these people how they themselves can recruit so that you can bulk up your downline and profit off of the work of others. And that is gross in my opinion. No matter what MLM she's in, it is always the same thing. Get a small commission from the sales that you've made and get a big check from the people you recruited, because that way you can profit off of their work. Once again, it's a no from me. And that was Top Fails number five. I hope you liked it. If you like these types of videos, I would love it if you would consider subscribing, leaving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment, and yeah, if you would tune in occasionally, because I will regularly upload anti-scam and anti-MLM content. So I do hope to see you in my next video. Tschüss!